you walk through the town and you can you can get a real sense of everybody's trying to make the best out of the situation. Given the challenges, the town has pulled together well. To learn to do something a little different, try everything you can. The majority of people are wanting to stay safe and have a safe holiday. That flavour of St Ives that we all crave. As a community, we need the visitors to come here. We've worked very, very hard. We want you here. We want you to come to St Ives. I'm Helen, St Ives Beard Manager. Our town safety plan has been put together with cooperation with the town and Cornwall councils, following government guidelines, but adapting to our fishing town's unique character and winding narrow streets. Famous for our beaches, water sports, Tate Gallery and artistic community, food outlets and natural light. Hopes, I would say from a personal point of view, is that it's going to bring maybe some new customers to the town, people that have never been here before. We hope that people stay safe and they're mindful of the community. People do talk to each other quite a lot and actually say what's going on and how to make improvements and have like a little different look on how to do things, which is ultimately what you're meant to do in times of trouble, I think, anyway. The measures that we have put into place include road closures, which allow people to move more freely throughout the town. We have lots of new colourful signage reflecting St Ives' artistic heritage, which asks people respectfully to keep left and to maintain social distance. I can genuinely say that in terms of the council and bid particularly, we've had a lot of support. Um, I know that it hasn't been an easy time for both of those parties, particularly BID, um, but hand on heart I can say they've worked conscientiously with us to help us be successful, to help us look after our customers and our staff, and really to make it for the town. Um, I think it's been a very challenging situation for them, but it's been great to have that support behind us. We have placed numerous stickers, flags on beaches, keep left markings on the roads, and have marshals patrolling the towns and beaches, Sanitizers are strategically placed around the town, all with the aim to keep people as safe as possible in these extraordinary times. We've got these little portable screens that we can move around, so when we have hot food coming down we can just shuffle them around. We've got um, an automatic hand sanitizer by the door. We've also got the Tart Quince Gin hand sanitizer for everybody. It's a new normal just taking your time, isn't it, which you probably should have done for years. Yeah, so we're just trying to keep it safe for my staff and ultimately the customer. We have now come out of the initial opening stage and most of the shops and restaurants are now open. They have adapted with new measures to comply with the government guidelines. Restaurants have adapted by offering takeaways, shops and accommodations are working different hours and finding other ways to provide an alternative service online. The first week back, we were all very, very nervous. Um, nervous that that we were doing things right, you know, I think there was a lot of stress how the customer was going to react and um, it's kind of one of those hard things and one of those challenging things we've had. The world has changed and restaurants have to change and we've very luckily been very fully booked right through. Sort of changed the way we do our business, so we're serving a lot of our restaurant food through our takeaway downstairs, um, so people are going out on the beach and socially distancing and having meals out there. We decided, um, and with some other shops as well from the town, we did a live shopping event where we encourage lots of people um, to come to Facebook and show people the, uh, the products in the shop. It was really nice and it was really good as well actually for us being so new to have some feedback via the live of saying oh we like this, this is cool and it, was, it, was, it just felt good to be able to have people into the shop virtually. During lockdown St Ives experienced great community spirit, taking care of the vulnerable, looking out for each other and pulling together like never before. We want to continue going forward to support businesses and residents alike so that they can make the town as safe as possible and a fantastic experience for visitors and the local community.